My name is Kevin Martinez. I'm a chef de cuisine here at Tokyo Cafe, over here off Pershing, right off of Camp Bowie on the bricks. We have a new fall menu coming out. Uh, that we're slowly rolling out. What we're doing is that we're using our blackboard, which is like our black chalkboards that we have on the board in both rooms. And uh, we just keep on just rotating in some of our fall specials in there before they go on the menu. Almost like a preview. We've been doing this now for a few weeks now. And then um, they will just slowly integrate in there. We're trying to get a price point, you know, 16 tops. Uh, one of our fall dishes is going to be our uh, oxtail hot pot nice piece of oxtail slowly braised um, what we end up doing is we let it marinate for about 24 to 30 hours a mix of japanese spice grinds pepper salt a little bit of soy and some grated ginger put the uh, put that in a pot go ahead and uh, put some dashi in there carrots some little pearl onions let that cook down we end up just putting the whole clay pot on the stove let it heat up again let the sauce reduce down a little bit Let's serve a little side of rice. The uh, koji ribs that we have, um, we actually use shiro koji, which is a uh, kind of fermented rice that they use in Japan. It's late as craze. It's supposed to be very healthy, very beneficial. It helps break down enzymes and everything else. So if you marinate something and it, it tends to break it down, makes it really nice and tender. We end up taking the ribs, Frenching them, wrapping them, trussing them, braising them, and then uh, when letting them sit in there for the typical 24 to 30 hours. Then, then from there, we end up cooking them into order where they'll go in the oven with a tare sauce. So it's a sticky, salty, sweet little sauce. Those go on the plate with a, little, a bunch of little fried vegetables, carrots, onions, Brussels sprouts, shishito peppers. And then those get tossed with a little bit of white soy, uh, tachimi tagarashi or tio spice, and uh, a little bit of smoked salt. And then uh, top with a little bit of cilantro and that's it. The milk udon is actually some udon noodles that we take. And then we just drop those in, in our little hopper. Go on, the, go on the walk, do a little, do a, some onion mix. Just white onion and green onion that we cut. Go in the, go in the walk with a little bit of oil, just because for me, it just tastes better in the walk. We, we end up adding a little bit of dashi, which think about it like, it's like the Japanese chicken stock. It's made, it's made with us smoked bonito and uh, seaweed. And so then we end up adding a little bit of that after we just sauteed and sweated the onions a little bit and added a little bit of uh, garlic as well. We add a little bit of our cream mi mixture in there, a little bit of that shiro koji, that same stuff, right, fermented rice that we had on the ribs. And uh, that ends up making this really nice little sauce. We, and we'll just put a dash of yuzu, which is the Japanese citrus, citrus in there, a little bit of salt, um, and then we actually put the scallops in and just poach those lightly. Add the noodles, trying to make sure not to break apart the scallops. And uh, then from there, they go on the plate. And then on top goes a little bit of black tobacco, or, or fish eggs. And then uh, a little bit of sprouts and uh, just a dash of extra virgin olive oil. Pretty much as soon as it's cold enough, <laughs> most everything's gonna be on the menu. 